Hey guys, welcome back. Today on our episode, we are going to Snallygaster 2019, which is uh, the one, well, one of the biggest beer festivals in DC, I would imagine. Like, it's huge. There's hundreds of uh, beers to try. There's a ton of vendors. I mean, they closed down Pennsylvania Avenue in DC for the whole, the whole day, basically. Um, and no cars are allowed in, and it's just beer nerds like us that are, you know, going to drink a lot of beer. So uh, we're waiting on the Uber right now. Um, I don't know where he's at, he's like five minutes away. Then we're gonna take the metro back, I think. You think so? Mm, I don't know, we'll play it by ear. We don't know yet, but you know, we'll figure it out. Hopefully this vlog turns out good and uh, you enjoy the content. And uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. Cool. Okay, cool, we'll see ya. All right, so this is the map of Snallygaster 2019. We are where? Right there. We're right here. So here's like the music stage. Here's, what is that? I don't know. Okay, Let's check well, it out. here's what you can kind of expect at Snallygaster if you ever come. Uh, First beer of the day. Oh, yeah. Let's get into it. Hey, Cantillon's Foo Foam. Foo, foo Foam? Yeah, Foo Foam. Lambic. Yes, Okay. with apricots. All right, well, let's go this way. <laughs> let's get a beer for me, because I want a beer. So let's go around the corner to Rodan. Do we know anything about Rodan? Um, Rodan! Put on the... your red light! I thought that said camera. It says gamera. Gamera. Right on. Rodan okay. has dancing gnome, so make a right. Right. God, this map's so f***ing small, I can't even read it. Ooh, I can't read it. Ooh. Is this good content? Yeah. <laughs> no. Sure, look. Oh, there's the lounge. Check this out behind me. We got the lounge back here somewhere. That's where we'll be at in a little while. I feel like that's gonna be a really good place to be. They're probably gonna have food and all kinds of other stuff too. There's a band here. Very nice. Let's flip it around. Okay, dancing them, no one in line. Yes. Hi, can I get the lustra? Does anybody want the double? You want the lustra? Yeah, yeah, I'll try the lustra. Oh. Everybody's having pressure issues today. Yeah, you Thank do. you. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Thanks. Lustra. Beer time. We got the Lustra. It's a hazy IPA? Yep. Uh, hazy pale ale. Hazy, oh, sorry. Hazy pale ale. 6%, 5.8, something like that. All right. It smells super, uh, super danky. It's not as, uh, it's actually not as hoppy as I thought it was going to be. That's pretty good. What the hell is that? Trash can, man! It's hazy, it's crispy, it's light. Um, it's decent. It's, it's decent, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. So, on to the next beer, let's do it. All right, so we got some more beers. What'd you get? Monkish Water Balloon Street Fighter. What is that? It's a hazy 8.4% IPA. It's Ooh. pretty good. It's really it's starting smooth. off strong. I just got the uh, microphone. Microphone drop, or is that the one? Yeah. Mine smells super hazy. Yours probably does too. Yeah. Yours is a little bit more like, uh, almost like penny, like smells almost like pennies. Really? This one has um, cashmere hops in it, I believe. Maybe I read the sign wrong. Maybe that was the other one. But oh, this one's good. Now Microphone. we're walking over to Great Notion. This one's super light. It's got a great body to it. It's milky. It's like it's got that creamy mouthfeel to it, and it's definitely uh, definitely crushable. It got really hot out too, so this beer is really hitting the spot. I feel like this is really good. I like this one a lot. So now we're heading over to where? Great Notion. Great Notion beer. We've had some of their beers before, right? Yeah. Have no. we reviewed any? No, but we we've had two or maybe one of their beers. It was really good. Huh. I remember having some of their beer and it was really good. So I can't wait to see. Is this the line? Holy shit. No, that's not the line. No, this isn't the line. Look, oh, at, there this, they look are. at this craziness. They're just crazy. You guys want to be in the video? You guys photobombing? There's this guy again. Pushing that damn trash can around. I appreciate it, but he's getting in the way of my vlog. Okay, so we just got more beers. 
I have a Puppy Love by Great Notion. Uh, I got the Pineapple Beer by Great Notion. It's a hazy pineapple beer with, I think, Mosaic or Galaxy Hops and Pineapple. Woo, damn. Okay, mine's five and a half percent. What's yours? Seven. So they're okay. both by Great Notion. Both hazy. Okay, I'm getting like pure pineapple on the nose, like the sweetness from the pineapple. I didn't smell anything with mine for some reason. This is pretty good. Oh yeah, mine's juicy. I can't, it doesn't taste like anything in particular. Maybe the other beer messed my palate up. That could be. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I like this. Another crushable, I like the name too. Puppy love. Since we have a puppy, it makes sense. Cool, well both good beers it seems. Yeah. Let's move it along. All right, so we're gonna swap beers here. I've got Sandra's beer and she's got mine, both the Great Notion beers. So yours is the Puppy Love and mine's the what? The Pineapple Juice Invaders. Pineapple Juice Invaders, what? That's the yeah. name? Damn. Yeah, it does smell like pineapple oh, like a whole lot. For a sessionable beer, this is fantastic. I wish all sessionable I know. IPAs were like That's this. what I'm saying, it's yeah. really good. This is really good. This one's good too though. This is a lot more bitter though. Yeah, like and I feel like that's not sweet at all. Like, no, the name is deceiving. Bitter. You think it's going to be super sweet because of the fruit? You know what it is? It's the tartness of the fruit that's, yeah, that's I think making it's it. Is. Yeah, it's bitter. It's more bitter than I think it's the beer sweet, actually yeah. is because of that pineapple. But not bad. Definitely a different take on uh, I like how these are like totally different beers, but they look the same. I mean, like, look at how similar these look. It's ridiculous. I don't know which is which now. Is this the, this is the puppy love? I think this is yeah. I think that's yours. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, we're gonna take a little break here. My shoulders hurt from carrying camera gear and stuff, and then uh, we're gonna go to another brewery. Hopefully, it's not that one with the crazy line, and it's not also that one with the crazy line either. Uh, uh, we'll go to Southern Crest. Yeah, they have done a their mango too. beer right now, and it looks like the guys are actually working the event. I saw some guys at the. Oh, yeah, sweet. Oh, they're both yeah. working it. Oh. Awesome, we're gonna yeah. go talk to those, hopefully go talk to those guys. So, yeah, we'll be back in a second. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, no, I... Thank you guys. I'm Brandon, uh, I live by Andy, we're neighbors. We both have puppies that we both love very much. We just saw, today we're having a great time. We just saw Brandon as we came in and uh, he recognized me. I was like staring at you from across the way. Like, I know, I think it's, I think it's Brandon, but I'm not 100% sure. And it turns out you were like, hey, what's going on? And yeah, that's pretty cool. So we're just checking out beers here today. Um, what do you got next? Next, I'm heading over to Great Notion. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, we were cool. just there. Yeah. yeah, we'll be right there for Southern Grace. I'm telling you, that Puppy Love is really good. Like, yeah. I think even, even she that doesn't drink beer might like it. It's pretty light. Is it raining right now? Tell me it's not I raining. I did feel no. a couple drops. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely raining. We got to find shelter quick. Uh, and I'm thinking okay. that tent over there is the way to go. Yeah. Well, let's all head over to there and get some beer. Cool. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what can I get for you, buddy? Uh, I'm going to get the whatever the other one is. Cool. Uh, the uh, mango? We have two more beers as well. We have four, four beers. Oh, you got four? What is the other ones? Uh, on this side. On this side. We've got a uh, Process Control Double IPA and Doughboy Fresh. Okay, cool. Sorry. No, I'll stick with that one, man. I don't want to get too shitty before yeah. before the day is up, right? Yeah. Cheers, well, we just want to let you guys know your beer is killer, and we've yeah, enjoyed so everything we've had. We actually, on our honeymoon, we went to you guys' place oh, hey, and yeah. checked it out. We had like a whole flight of stuff, yeah, yeah. and it was yeah. just super killer. And we took awesome. stuff home, and that's, that's yeah. how we did. Thank you so much. Man. Yeah, Thanks, guys. we yeah. appreciate your efforts. Yeah. Come back for the other beers. Yeah, yeah definitely, man. Thank All you. right, see you guys later. Cheers. 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 I've got the. Uh, I don't even know what this is. To be honest, I just asked for whatever the other one was. Uh, Sour beer. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this thing is. It's not my favorite uh, style of beer. I'm gonna cross over you real fast. Um, what'd you get? I got the Batida mango beer. The what? It's a Batida. Batida. Which is, like, a, is that I Spanish? I think those are like a Cuban smoothies. Ooh, this smells like a freaking raspberry smoothie. Oh, wow. oh my god. It's also good. Oh. Oh my god. Taste this one. Wait, this will mess your palate up. This one. It's like pure mango, but it's it's tart. Tart mango juice. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Nice. Try this one now. Double fist it. Tell me what you think of that. 
That's like definitely a sour brew with like lactose and some sugars in there. Yeah. So you get that smoothie, that creamy. It's definitely creamy as hell. To it. But if you like, took a popsicle and like followed it with milk or something like something creamy, that's that's kind of like a creamy popsicle is what it tastes like to me. Pretty good. For sure. Yeah. All right, where to next? Uh, beer stat from Colorado. Beer stat. They that's the long line, I think. So we're gonna Maybe. go over that yeah. direction. Yeah, figure that whole joint out. Okay. See you in a sec from the line. Bye. This one. Peach coconut milk stave. Oh. It's pretty good. A little tart. It's definitely tart. It's pretty good. I don't taste much peach in that one though. I get a lot of coconut on that yeah, one. Yeah, there's coconut for sure in that one. Definitely not a lot of peach. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to taste some peach in that. I was just taking a break while we were sitting here, and uh, Sandra came back and told me something interesting about Burlio. Go ahead. So I had their banana bread J Dream, which is their line of like really good kind of like sour-ish beers, sour fruit beers. And literally, it looked like the mix of when you make banana bread. <laughs> like it was just as thick as it. And was it, it chunky? Not, it was like super, super dense and thick. I think it was hard to swallow. Oh, really? And the lady that was pouring it was like, this is my best, or this is my favorite beer here so far. The trash guy again. He's everywhere we are and where we want to be. Taste wise, it definitely tastes like you're drinking the mix without any sugar. Oh, wow. But if you're into banana bread and anything banana, you would like it. If you don't like banana, don't even try it. <laughs> it's a super banana-y. It was very, it was like pure banana. Like I think they use so much banana, I felt like I ate a quarter of a banana. Wow. In just like the few sips I had. But it's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's, that would be a weird taste. It was vaguely sweet, but it's not sweet. Cause ah. it's a sour ale of some sort. It's bizarre. Yeah. Well, anyway. So now I'm drinking Deciduous Research 13.0. This oh, we is usually like better. Deciduous. Typical hazy IPA. It's really nice. I think it's eight or seven percent. That's a, you, you're going for these big beers. I'm just trying to get it before everybody else gets to it and then it'll be. Yeah, gone. general admission lets in in like uh, a couple minutes. So we're going to kind of try to rush to the food real fast and yeah. see if we can't get some of that going on and uh, take another little break. And we'll check in in a minute. So uh, we're going to get that done. Oh. I'm sorry, you said you had a beer that was aged in a hot sauce barrel? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Did it have like the seasonings of a taco? Yeah. Uh, that's weird. How was GABF overall? Uh, fantastic, crowded. Wait, wait, wait. We're going too far, aren't we? No, oh, it's no, down there, there. Okay, I cool. guess. I don't know. We took a Saturday off and went to Fort Collins, to New Belgium, Odell, Funk Works. Nice. And then went to uh, Purpose Brewing, which is cool. Uh, Peter Burkhardt. Yeah, that's a pretty good uh, brewmaster at New Belgium. Nice, yeah. Yeah, he was talking about that when we were there taking the tour. They were talking about how, how the, the relationship went. What up? Chris Bennett! <laughs> Fair winds, check it in. <laughs> Gonna get that beer stat for Russell here. He was in Colorado, but somehow missed beer stat because there's no line. Beers. All right, take it away. Charlestown. Sorry. All right, we're at Bissell Brothers. Just stopped by phone. Hi, can I get the um? I like the red brother. Thank you. Sony? Yeah. Ah! Yeah, what are you guys pouring, man? Now lens is banana. So. Oh yeah, 16. This is the new camera. Yeah, go for it, man. Yeah, we're vlogging right now, so you're on camera. I'm on camera. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Mom. <laughs> I'm not drinking too much. Introduce yourself. Yeah. I'm not drinking too much, I promise. <laughs> What's your name, baby? My name's Andy. They all know me. <laughs> <laughs> So we just met Lucy from Bissell Brothers, the marketing and events director or manager or something like that. And she was super nice. Uh, we told her about the YouTube channel and she was kind of into it. So we asked her if she could send us some stuff down. 
uh, from Maine, and uh, she was like, yeah, we always try to do stuff like that, so you never know, maybe on the channel in the future we'll get some Bissell Brothers stuff, and that would be pretty awesome. That'd be awesome. This uh, Pilsner that I got is pretty good from, uh, where is this from? It's yeah, from... It's from Foam. Yes. I've never heard of this brewery before, but they're from Vermont. Maine. Maine. Maine or Vermont? Uh, one of the two. One of those northeastern states. One of those northeastern states, right on. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's actually the best Pilsner I think I've had today. Very biscuity, very uh, flavorful. It's, it's kind of more hoppy. It's got more hop presence than a lot of the other ones that I've had. Um, what about you? What do you got? I got a Bissell Brothers um, Assume Intent, some kind of an IPA. It's super good. So far, this event has been ultra crazy. Tons and tons of people around. There's even people on balconies here. Let me see if I can. That's not what happened. Up there are a ton of people that I guess are just, I don't know, partying by themselves. I'm not even sure what they're doing up there. But we're down here partying. And this is, I think, the place to be. Selfie time. Gotta love selfie time. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that. Oh, we'll get to that, sir. How much untapped have you done so far? Every single beer? Be sure to follow Sandra on Untapped. Her uh, username is... We're gonna let the person behind us go through because I'm still drinking this beer. All right, are we... Are you... Okay. Do you wanna go? You can go, man. Please, please. You're good, you're good. We're gonna wait a bit. Okay. <laughs> and I was like... Oh, oh broken oh, glass, that sucks. That uh, guy has a poker t-shirt on. He's standing right there. Her friends are laughing at her. That sucks. Broken glass is no fun. Uh, we were in line for burial and they ran out of beer two and a half hours after the fact. But that's okay, because we met some cool dudes. We met a guy named CJ and his friends. CJ was talking to us about beer at length. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna see him again at some point, I'm sure, for some beer trays. And we're gonna get some stuff from up north, which is really cool. Uh, tired hands and uh, what else? Uh, I think you mentioned uh, Treehouse, so I'm oh, excited Treehouse. for that. Yeah. Oh, we also know, um, what's his face, uh, Brandon, that has Treehouse beer access, so oh. we're good there. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're waiting on uh, one of our other buddies to show up right at Pennsylvania Constitution here, but I don't see him anywhere, so I don't know what's going on there. But if we see him, we'll, we'll touch base with you later. The GA got let in and like Dancing Gnome now, their line is like, is, was huge. It was that huge. Hands. Oh, so I, good, I so hands. good. I did oh. not make it over there this time. If I, I don't think this stretch I didn't make it oh. to at all, so. Tired hands. I might have to walk that way in a moment. This this corner. They're yeah. milkshake and they have another, they have two milkshake IPAs. And by far, that's probably within my top five of beers I had. Really? Yes. It's how much I enjoy it. It's really it. good. It was, like, oh, it was refreshing. Super smooth. You wanna go you wanna go get it? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yes. This is crazy, man. Look at all these people. Chris is behind me here. We met up with him, finally. And we've been just talking about beer, drinking beer. Now we're at Diamondback from Maryland. You ever had these guys? No, but I've heard really good things about them. All right, cool. Well, we're going to check it out and we'll see. Do you think they have a hazy IPA today? Probably. Yeah. Probably. I'm actually more interested in the people that are bringing Pilsners and like German styles, stuff like that. What do we got? Oh, Pilsner. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. There's a latte. So latte. Did you see that? Table beer with honey? Oh. Oh, this is good. I got the Pilsner. Is that what you got? Oh, I should have gotten the table beer. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it is good. You got the Pilsner? What? I got the middle of nowhere. Oh! oh. oh. How is we it? Got the uh -oh. I don't know. We'll we, see. Okay, go ahead. We're going to get your hot take on it this time. 
it's all right. Like, it's not like, That's good. it's light, it's not like, it's, uh, I don't know, I guess you get, the honey is like, I mean, the honey's never really there. Honey's always yeah. kind of, you get like, kind of like In a dry, yeah. exactly. Oh I'm, my God. I'm trying to think of like Coding. the right way, exactly. Yeah. Um, no, that's a good way to describe yeah. it. Yeah. I, they, they call it a table beer. Sure. Yeah. Like it's not like it's not it's not overly sweet. It's not like overly malty. It's kind of light, but like it's not like bland. Yeah. It's a good review. Yeah. We might uh, we might have to hire Chris to uh, do our videos from now on, right? <laughs> I quit. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. Our microphones are running out of battery power and they're about to kick everybody out. So we're going to get out of here. Thank you for tuning in and enjoying Snallygaster with us. First time vlogging, so we'll see how it turns out. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the content. And as always, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.